Welcome to this podcast on differential diagnosis in case of a pigmentation in a scar. In case of a pigmentation in a scar, we have um, mainly three differential diagnoses. The first is, is recurrent melanoma, then recurrent nevus or melanotic reactive pigmentation. We have three parameters to evaluate. First, uh, we have to evaluate the time of the recurrence. A rapid development of the repigmentation favors the diagnosis of a benign recurrence, while melanomas tend to recur months, if not years, after excision. Secondly, we have to evaluate the pigment distribution already clinically. In melanoma, we have uh, the, the distribution of the pigmentation from the edges of the scar invading the surrounding skin. In recurrent nevi, usually the pigmentation is within the scar with a centrifugal distribution. In melanotic reactive pigmentation, we have a pigmentation in lines perpendicular to the scar. Of course, uh, with dermoscopy, we can improve our differential diagnosis. In melanoma, we see the presence of the pigmentation at the edges of the scar going to the surrounding normal skin. The dermoscopic pattern is usually the presence of heterogeneous pigmentation or structureless pigmentation, and on the face we can see circles. In, uh, in recurrent nevi, we have in dermoscopy the presence of the pigmentation within the scar, with irregular prominent network or globules or streaks and heterogeneous pigmentation. In melanotic reactive pigmentation, we have thin parallel streaks. Here are some examples of recurrent nevi, where we can see in dermoscopy the presence of pigmentation within the scar and different dermoscopic features like dots like streaks or prominent network but always within the scar here one example of a recurrent melanoma in situ in dermoscopy we see this heterogeneous pigmentation starting from the edges from of the of the scar and going into the surrounding skin one example on the face here we can see clearly the presence of a pigmentation going into the surrounding normal skin and the presence of grey circles, suggestive of recurrent facial melanoma. One additional parameter to evaluate is the location. In this study from the International Dermoscopy Society, recurrent melanomas were more frequently located on the head and neck area than recurrent nevi. One more uh, location, one other, another location where usually melanoma tend to recur more frequently is the acral sites. Uh, melanomas located on acral sites tend to recur more often even after several excisions. Finally, we have to uh, underline three general suggestions. First of all, to revise the slides of previous excisions if you perform the histology. So to revise the histology, like in this case of recurrent melanoma, the first histology was of uh, a suspicious melanocytic lesion and then after the recurrence and after revision, of the histology, we came to the diagnosis of melanoma, the superficial melanoma on the neck of this, uh, of this lady. And if possible, to shape the nevus for histologic exam or take a picture of banal dermal nevi that you intend to treat by vaporization or laser. And most importantly, to provide all the information to the pathologist if you re excise a recurrent nevus, because this diagnosis. This diagnosis is very difficult also histopathologically. Thank you very much.